What's up y'all, it's Brock with Louisiana Custom Kayaks. We're coming at you today to show off our, one of our newest products, that being a seat mounting plate to go on our Hobie Lynx. Um, we realized that storage on the Lynx is, is kind of a problem um, because we don't have any in-hole access. So we wanted to come up with, with a way for us to store extra tackle, um, our pliers and other stuff that we want to keep on the boat. Um, so we came up with this plate. So basically it's just a, a plastic ABS plate. We have them for the left and the right side of the seat. Um, and we'll use one of the existing bolts on, on the boat um, and also include one um, in the package that we'll need. So it's a super simple install. Basically just pull the, the bolts out of the front, um, hold on to that one, we'll throw it in the back and then use the included bolt on our front uh, hole right here. Um, in addition to just selling the plate on our website, we also have different options. Uh, for add-ons that you can use. Um, so you can see here we have a, um, a Burley Pro jig bucket mounted on here. This is a 25 millimeter. Um, we'll also have the new 45 millimeter on there. Um, and then we'll also have options like the uh, my personal favorite, the prison pocket. Um, this is a little bit bigger uh, storage compartment. It gives us room to put a 3600 size Plano box as well as pliers um, and also these little slots so you can hang baits on it to dry. Um, that's one of my personal favorites just because of how much room you have on it. So another way we found to utilize this mounting plate um, is to actually secure our battery to the back of it. So you can see we already have a 9 inch Yak Attack plate um, mounted to this. Um, for, for these plates and when we install stuff we like to use 1024 hardware. Um, if you do buy a Burley Pro jig bucket combo from us, it'll come mounted on there. But if you choose to mount something on, the, on there yourself, we do recommend just stainless steel 1024 hardware. So basically we're gonna use our another new product of ours, that being a track mounted FPV uh, battery bracket. This will come with all the hardware um, to mount the battery to the bracket and then uh, track hardware. So essentially we're gonna use this plate and the track on the back to mount our battery underneath the seat on our links. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw our battery on the back. Uh, we're just gonna use the included track nuts and wing knobs that will come with your FPV or NACWA battery mount. Just slide one of those on there, put the wing knob on, tighten it down, and put the other one on. All right, so that's secured to our plate. Um, it's a super simple mount, but you'll be able to use it on like things like the Tim Percy mounting plate. Um, you can throw a track inside your crate if you wanna store your battery in there. Um, but it just gives you a couple more options um, as far as mounting your battery. Cause you know, we don't, this is a $300 battery. We don't just wanna throw it in the hatch where it's gonna uh, get beat up, where our wires are gonna get pulled on. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and throw the, the uh, Lynx mounting plate on the seat. Um, so this is a super simple install. <clears throat> All, you'll, uh, you'll have a, a bolt included in your, with your mounting plate in the packaging. Um, and then all you'll need is a 530 seconds um, Allen head. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull the front bolt off the seat. This one is actually longer than the rear one. So we'll pull this one all the way out. All right, and then we'll set this to the side. We're gonna use this later on. Then we'll grab our included bolt and go ahead and line up our seat mounting plate. Make sure you go back through the, the seat strap and then get these threads started. May take a little bit to get it lined up, but basically you wanna make sure you line it up with the leg as well to get it to thread on easy. And then you'll be able to feel it when it hits the, the nut on the back side. All right, we're not gonna tighten it all the way because we want a little bit of wiggle room in the back. Then we'll go ahead and remove the uh, rear bolt. And by doing them one at a time, it kind of helps keep everything together on the seat because if you pulled both of them off, uh, it might get a little bit tough to uh, line them back up. All right, so we pulled that one out. So we'll set that one to the side and then we'll grab the bolt that we pulled out of the front, insert it through our plate and then through the seat. 
you can see it's good to have a little bit of a wiggle room in the front that way we can make sure the holes line up just go ahead and thread it through the seat and then get our seat back piece and thread it all the way through there all right you can go ahead and tighten this one down all the way and then tighten our front now we're good to go so we got a, a nice battery mounting place on our links um, keep, like I said it keeps our battery elevated um, and it also keeps it from bouncing around if we were to just throw it in our in our crate or uh, up underneath the seat so thank y'all for watching. Y'all can check this product out on the website um, and be sure to take a look at all the other add-on accessories we have for them. Um, and feel free to, to throw in your own accessories. Um, if you got an idea for a different battery mount or a different storage option, I basically wanted to make this like a universal plate. That way you can come up with your own ideas to rig it out um, and make your boat unique.